Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, I will be showing you how to do a section through your building. All right? And a section is basically a cut through the building that shows what is inside the building and also what is inside the walls and all of that, but and also the foundation and the roof. So it's a cut through the entire building. All right? So you can cut your building either vertically or horizontally. Sometimes it's best to cut through a kitchen or a bathroom or both if you can. Because a lot of times the drawings or questions that you get or sections that ask you to cut through a kitchen or a bathroom. Alright, so right here on this floor plan, we're going to cut through the we're gonna cut it horizontally. We're going to cut through the living room, the dining room and the kitchen. Alright? so we are going to select a line and this line will represent where we are cutting so i'm going to cut it just about here let me turn off objects now for a moment i'm going to cut it just about here just ab before the window i don't want to cut through the window because if i cut through the window then i would have to show the window sections and that's a different video for a different drawing sorry that's a different drawing for a different video Alright, so yeah, do that from there to there. Let me just trim off this piece. Um, so we're going to extend this, and uh, I want it to look uniform, so I'm going to extend it by the same amount on both sides. So if I extend it by here, I'm going to extend it by the same amount over there. Now there's no specific distance as to how much you have to offset it by, but I like to use 1200 because it's a good distance away and it gives me um some nice space to work with so let me extend this by 1200 all right and let me do the same over this side all right good all right so let me just bring this up here just a little i can bring this up by uh, bring it up by 300 and do the same on the other side Now I'm going to go to tool palettes and get what is called a call out bubble and the call out bubble is to I uh, use it to label your section. Now sections are normally labeled with numbers so like a section will be called if it's one section it will be AA if you have another section I call it BB so on and so forth so in this case since we only have one section here we're going to call this section AA alright so we're going to go to tool palettes and we are going to select this call out bubble call out bubble metric let me just do that one more time so when you go to tool palette you go to annotation and then you go to call out bubble metric not imperial imperial is up here where it says call out bubble im you don't want that one you want call out bubble metric down here where it says call out bubble me all right so click on this one and bring it out into the join i didn't bring it into the join now it's going to be very small so just click on it and change the scale we're going to scale it up by 50 so type scale click on a point on it and type 50 enter all right good all right so now this arrow is pointing in that direction but we want it to point upwards because as we're going to cut the building we're going to be looking in that direction so we want to indicate that this is the direction that we're going to be looking into if I was looking in the other direction, if I was looking downwards, then this line here would have drawn it downwards. But because I'm looking upwards, I'm going to, that's why I have this line pointing upwards. So now I need the arrow to be upwards as well. So I'm going to click on that, then click on the circle right here at the end of the arrow. And you see all those degrees that you can put the arrow at. Now we want it right up here. Once auto is turned on, it will go to 90, 90 degrees. Alright, so we want it there at 90 degrees. Alright. Also, it is section AA. Um, so, first, let me do this first. Let me move it down here. Sorry. Alright, so let me just type move. And just click on this. Wait. Yeah. And move this from here, this part down here. And move that to there. Alright. Now this is called one. 
101 now this represents the name of the section the one at the top represents the name of the section and the 101 represents the page number so the page number if you're doing a set of drawings and your section is on your is on page 10 then this would be 101 this would be 10 all right so and if this is section a a then the one would be a instead of one because that's the name of the section so we're going to have to change this so where it says um enter view number we're going to change it from one and we're going to change it to a and then right here where it says sheet number we're going to change it from 101 and we're going to change it to let's say 10 if it if your section was page 10 it's whatever page your section is all right so in order to do that, just double click just double click on the double click on the color bubble here and you will get this and you just click on that and you can change the value and click here and you can change the value again all right so we need this to be over this side as well so let me just copy this copy it from here and bring it over here nice all right so this is that this is my section and i'm going to code from here and i'm going to be looking in that direction all right so now i can start drawing my section so we're going to have to consult a number of drawings to do this section we're going to have to consult the floor plans which we already did the elevation also the uh, foundation details and the eve details all right so right here where we have our elevation we are going to copy some lines so we're going to copy that line the ground floor the ground level the floor level the end of the external walls the fascia board and this top of the roof on both sides all right is that everything no i don't think so yeah all right yeah, that is everything that we need all right good so now i can copy these so let me just copy them sorry so let me just uh, go modify and go copy and uh, let me copy it from here and just bring it over to here all right all right good so this is what we're working with all right so when we cut this if we are here so let's say you're standing here and you're looking forward and this is cut through you're standing out here actually all right and this part of the building is cut off so you're just seeing from here onwards all right so starting from the left then the first thing that you'll be seeing is this wall right here and that wall is 150 all right so let me offset this line by 150 And we know that it would be the same thing over this side as well. Right here, the section through that wall. So while we are offsetting, we can just offset this wall at the same time. All right. So now, since we cut right through the building, right down into the ground, we are going to be cutting through the foundation as well. So we have to represent that. Now, if you consult your foundation details drawings, this right here, let me just measure this and show you. The distance from the ground level from the ground level to the top of the foundation footing is 600 and so the base of the foundation is nine footing is 900 so that means that from here to here is 300 all right so that's with that information we're going to do this we are going to extend this line down by 600 same thing over here Alright, so now we're going to select a line and we're going to bring this across here by 150, then down by 300, across by 450, up by 300, and then join it back here. And we do the same thing over this side. Let's bring this down by 600. 
bring this down by 600 again bring this line across by 150 bring this down by 300 bring this across by 450 bring this up by 150 and sorry not 150 300 this should go by 300 so let me just bring this up one more by 150 again and then join this with this over here all right nice now let me let me do this because we're gonna need to patch it differently all right so do that and uh, same thing over here all right nice so there we are there we are all right so now we're going to trim out this all right here we trim out this we trim out this sorry not that this trim out this and trim out this as well nice all right so we have that so that's her walls now if this is not just for external walls if i had cut through another wall then i would have to show the foundation footing for that wall as well so let's say i, I had cut somewhere like here or i cut through this wall this wall this wall and that wall i'd have to show the foundation footing for this wall and this wall as well all right but since you only cut through two walls you only have foundation footing for two walls good so the next thing we're going to see coming from the left is we're going to see this door and this door is going to be behind this sofa right here all right so let's get the door first from here to here is 150 all right so let's offset this by 150 then all right let me just draw line 150 then from here let me just draw this line 150 and then bring this down to here all right so this is where the door starts good all right and the space for the door is 826 so from here to here is 826 good so we're going to need that space so we're going to offset this by 826 all right so i'll set this by 826 now this is the door is right here but this is an in internal door so it's not like the external door that is a fancy door so we'll just use a plain door for this internal door all right so we'll go to add center and we will go to home space banner now we'll go to host designer all right we'll go to host designer and we will take out this we'll take this out door plane all right so we'll take out this door now we can close that center so we're going to put in this door here the space here is eight the space here is 826 all right so let's measure what this door is i think it's 914 so that's 914 but we want it to be 826 and this is two, 2134 but we want it to be 2100 so we're going to have to um, adjust it so let's go to the calculator all right so 826 is on the x-axis and 2100 is on the y-axis and over there it's 914 by 2134 all right so we need to make the door smaller we need to make the door smaller in order for it to fit and when we're trying to make something smaller we're going to divide the smaller number by the bigger number so for the x-axis we're going to divide 826 by 914 and we get this number so we copy this number all right and then uh, on the y-axis we're going to divide on the y-axis we're going to divide 2100 by 2134 and we get this number all right so we're not going to copy, copy that as yet so let that stay so we're going to go to insert so type insert and we are going to go to door where is it door 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 plane 
right here. So we're going to go to door play. All right, so we select this door. And on the X axis, we're going to type the number that we had copied. And then on the Y axis, now it would, it would not give us the option to, um, copy, to copy this now. So we have to just type it in. So we're going to type that in. So 0 0.984. Zero six seven four seven nine. Okay. All right. So now this door should fit perfectly. There we go. All right. So we can trim uh, those lines above the door. So T R enter enter. Oh, I want to be able to trim them because the door is there, so I have to delete them. Alright, so that's the door in place right there. We are so far somewhere right here in front of your door. Alright. Now for the furniture in elevation to so see the sofa in elevation and the dining table and all of that. Alright. So what we are going to have is we are going to need to put for the blocks. These, these blocks are not in AutoCAD, the sofa and elevation, but you can download them online. You can just type in free CAD blocks, free CAD blocks, and you can search for the blocks you want, whether it be a table or blocks for a kitchen or anything like that. Alright, so what we are going to be wanting right now is a sofa. Alright, I had downloaded, downloaded some earlier. Um, the sofas are right here. Alright, so let me just open this. Alright, so here we have a range of sofas that we can choose from. Alright, but in uh, the elevation, if you realize we're looking at the sofa from this angle right here, so we can't use the sofa from the front, or so we have to use the sofa from the side since that, that's the one we're looking at. So let me see which sofa I'm going to use. Um, I like, I like, I like, let me see, that one, no, 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 um, alright, so let's say we selected this sofa, alright, so just click on it, and right click, clipboard, copy. Then go to your next drawing that you're currently doing now. And come over here, right click, clipboard, paste. Alright. And here is the sofa. Alright, so let me just space it somewhere for now. Alright, the height is already set. The sofa is the actual height that it should be already. But the distance is probably different. So let me see. On the floor plan, according to the floor plan, this distance right here is let me go utilities and measure uh, sorry so this distance right here is from the here so here is a two four so we need the sofa down here to be a two four as well all right so we need this distance to be a two four. So let's see from here. So this is the end, right? Yeah. So over here, let me get a line to represent where the end is. So the end of the sofa would be at this point here. All right. All right. So let me measure this. All right. So let me measure this. So from here to here, 853, and it should be 824. Uh, it should be 824. So let me just make it what it should be. So we're going to have to change the x axis. We're, ch we're going to have to make it smaller. So we're going to divide 824 by 853. All right, so we're going to divide 824 by 853. So we're going to go to utilities and go to calculator. And here we're going to divide so eight two four divided by eight five three. Eight 
0 0.6 this number here we're going to copy that number and then we're going to type in insert and we're going to try to find the sulfur it's already there but if it's if you didn't see the sulfur when you come here we we'll just search through this and click for it and search for it all right so the sulfur is this one there it's already on the sofa so that's good <coughs> Alright, so on the x-axis now we can paste the sofa and the y-axis remains the same so here is our new sofa alright so let's just put that here for a while alright so let me put this here and the sofa is right against the wall alright nice so let me move this from this this point since this would be the back of the sofa alright since this would be the back of the sofa here so let me just move it from there so wait, let me move it from here first all right nice all right so here we go so we move it from this point from the back of the sofa and we put the back of the sofa right here against the wall then we can move it down and then we'll move it across to ensure that it fits perfectly all right so let me just move this down Alright, and then let me move this across. From the end here. Since I can't move it from there, let me just do this then. Alright. Alright, good. So let me just do this then. Let me click here. And we're just bringing this across. Alright, so that's on the ground right there, that's on the door right there, what else is right there? Alright, so I have to move it across a bit more. Right there. And now we can move it down. Uh, downwards. So there we go. Alright. Um it does go through the wall a, a little alright so let's do this and then let me just turn off object snap for a moment bringing it across alright so about here about there is good Alright, so now let us trim this door because as you can see, we're seeing the door to the sofa and we don't want that, so let me trim that. So let me just trim out this part right here. So T R inside inside. Alright, oh, I can't trim it because it's one solid line. So we have to explode the door first. So explode the door and then trim it. Now I can trim it. Alright, so there we go. Uh, actually, let me see some. If the line was here, I'm turning on mock objects now. If the line for the door was here, then we would be seeing that part of it. So we have to do this then. We have to trim here and trim where else here do we see any other part of the way we see this part so trim here and do we see anywhere down there we do we see there so trim there as well all right yes and that's what we will be seeing all right so our sofa is in so let me delete this sofa all right so the next piece of furniture that we have we have dining sets, we have table here, and we have a TV, alright? So, this table here, you could download a block for the table or so, but I'm just going to draw a table very quickly. Alright, sorry. Alright, so let me just measure this table to see what distance it is. This distance is 1524. And how far is it away from the sofa? How far is it away from the sofa? 
so it's 824 and this distance is 1137 all right good so 1137 and that is 824 all right so let me just select a line and from here i bring this across by 1137 sorry not from the door from the sofa so from the sofa i bring it across by 1137 all right so it starts here all right a decent table height is about three feet three feet is converting from feet to inches so we're going to times by 25 all right so 3 times 25 is 150 is 75 3 times, seven times 25 is 75 let me see how 75 looks uh, oh sorry we're going to be changing to millimeters so we're going to be changing from feet to millimeters so we're going to times by so we're going to be times in by 300 so it is going to be three times 300 which is 900 so the height of the table is going to be 900 oh i just deleted the line that i shouldn't have deleted sorry so the height of the table is going to be 900 all right so the line starts from there and this line is 900 all right so that's my table there all right so it was it went across by 824 so made this 824 all right and then bring this back down all right three feet three feet seems uh, um too big for the table so instead we'll use two feet so let's just make this 600 then because three feet is really big so let's make this 600 all right yeah that's a lot better so let me trim this all right so here can the table can have an overhang of like 25 so let me offset this by 25 all right and the uh, foot of the table can be like about 25 as well let's make it 25 all right so here and here so let me just delete this very quickly all right sorry all right so now this has a certain thickness can have the same thickness as the foot so let's do 25 again Alright, so there we go. Then we'll just select a line. Alright, so select a line. She want this and she want this. Remove this and remove that. All right, good. So now you'll have the supporting boards down there, the rails. All right. So let's make the rails about fifty. All right. So there we go. Mm -hmm. And uh, that can work for a simple table. All right. Then we have a television. So in the floor plan, the television is here. Well, the entertainment set, all right? So we're gonna make this be like a TV, all right? And let's say that the TV is mounted to the wall. Um, what's the distance from the wall to the TV? Let me see that distance. That distance is 2248. 
Alright, so the distance is 2248 from here. So let's draw a line 2248. So let's make, make this 2248. Alright, so the TV would be on the wall there. Alright, so for the TV, you can download the free card blocks you can type in free card blocks and you can search for televisions and you can download one i already downloaded some so let me look through these and see if i can find any television that i would like to include in my drawing all right so let me see this right here this looks this looks modern um let me see if i see any others that i would like to use this one this one is simple straightforward sony all right so let me just i like this all of it all of that uh, probably not the line that it's on though let me highlight everything except that blue line. All right, I can highlight the blue line so and then trim it out, I guess. All right, so let me highlight all of this. All right, everything there. And then right click, clipboard, copy. Then go to my drawing and right click, clipboard, paste. And now I can bring in my TV. Now, the height of the TV can be about just a little bit above the table. All right, so because you have to think about ergonomics, and you don't want to be bending your head back too much to look at the TV. All right, so you can just put it a little bit above the, the table, probably about um fifty above the table. So I'll set the top of the table by fifty, so we can know where we're going to be putting our TV. All right, so our TV is going here. Good. So now we need to see all along this is um, here. So let me measure this. All right, so from here to there is 15.24. And let's see what the TV is. So I want the TV to be 1524 as well. The TV is 1036. 1036. I mean, this can work because the that in the floor plan is an entertainment. So if it was just a TV, this would work. But the TV would be very big if it was 1524, right? So we'll just leave it as is for right now. So let me move it. From here to here. And I can delete these lines. Delete, delete, delete. Alright, so my TV is there. This kinda doesn't look uniform because the TV is here and then the TV is just there. Alright but yeah that is that's how it is in the floor plan so that's why i just leave it like that all right so now let us do the dining table so now from the let me measure this distance the distance from the window here from the edge of the window to the dining table is 54.88 all right so let's offset this wall here by 54.88 5488 all right good so we got that distance all right so that is where the dining table starts and the the, the measurement let me before that let me get some dining table blocks as I can, as I said you can download them 
Alright. So I have some dining table blocks here. Alright, so here we have a nice dining set. Um if you look at the floor plan, you will see that we are looking at the dining set from here. So we're seeing two chairs here, one here and one here. You won't see the two chairs at the back because these two chairs here would be blocking out those two chairs. So we have two chairs here and then one on either side. So let's find a dining table that is like that. Uh, we are already here. Yeah. Alright, so here. This one right here. This is a nice one. And this is simpler. Let's use this. This is nice also, but it doesn't show. It only shows the two over that side. It doesn't show the two over here. Alright, so I'm going to use this one here. Let me just highlight all of that. Except those blue lines. Alright, so right click, clipboard, copy, copy with, let me copy with base point this time and just copy it from here. Alright, and then I can go to my next drawing, the foundation details, sorry, elevation. And uh, I am going to right click, clipboard, paste. Alright, and now I can paste it there. Alright, so first of all let me ensure that that distance is as it should be and if not let me adjust it so the dining table the total distance is from here to here is 2311 all right 2311 and let's see this distance this distance is 2366 and we needed to make it 2311 alright so we are going to have to make it smaller so we're going to go to calculator so utilities and go to calculator and we are going to divide 2311 divided by 2366 equals to get this distance so I like it copy then we go to insert you can see it's selecting this chair don't want that chair I want this all right so I click on it and on the x-axis now let me just change that to that okay and I have the right things here so let me just put this here for now and I can let me delete this so now I can copy this Alright, so copy it from down here and move that to right here. And our dining table is in place, so now we can move this here. Alright, so now there are some other things that we will be seeing. We'll be seeing this wall right here as well. Alright, so let's find this distance. The distance from that wall here to here is. 5093 so I'll set this by 5093 alright so we're going to offset this by 5093 and it goes to there alright we also have our next wall here so let's see the distance between the walls the distance from here to here is 1200 so we're gonna have to offset by 1200 alright so I offset and make this 1200 alright and then now we bring this across here good so let's trim this Alright, then we can delete this. Alright, nice. Alright, so here. If we were to be standing there and looking at this wall here, we wouldn't see this part because it will fall in the chair. 
All right, so we'd have to trim out that part. So let me trim this. We wouldn't be seeing that. We wouldn't be seeing here. This is a space. This is solid space. Solid space. So this is solid. So I have to trim out here because we wouldn't be seeing through there. All right, so we have to trim out that. We would be seeing this part. No, would we? No, we wouldn't be seeing that part. A lot comes down like that. No, wouldn't be seeing any of this. All right, but we would see that right there. And we wouldn't see this part, but we would see this, all right? So yeah, so here we have that. So if you notice all the way down here, there's a window. Now if we're looking forward, there's nothing blocking our sights from seeing that window. So we'd have to include that window. And we know that that window is 1200 because this distance is 1200. So the window is 1200 and the height of the window is 1200 so the window is 1200 by 1200 so we're going to get a window from ad center so we're going to go to adc and we're going to take this out window wood frame all right so we take out that window all right and this window is currently 914 by 914 and we want it to be 1200 by 1200 so we're going to have to adjust it so let's go to calculator and we're trying to make it bigger so when you're trying to make something bigger you divide the bigger number by the smaller number so you're going to divide 1200 by 914 equals 1.31 all right so let me just copy this then let me go to insert and uh, let me go for window wood frame all the way down at the end and on both axes the x and the y i'm going to paste this because they are both 1200 all right so the, this is our window so now we need to know where to put our window and the window and the door is on the same height so we can just select a line bring this across so i know where my windows should be all right and then i can move this from this point and i can bring it to here and my window is in place so i can get rid of this line all right so my window is where it should be but some parts of the window will have to trim out because they will be in the chair so we won't be seeing those parts of the window all right so let me trim this Oh, before I trim it, I have to explode it. So explode. Now I can trim it. All right. So I trim out there. Trim out there. It would be seen. This is a space. This is all. This is a space. So it would be seen that little part there. I'll have to delete that part. This is. It wouldn't be seen any of this right here. this is a space you would see that this is solid this is a space this is solid this is a space this is solid so i have to trim out all of this all right and uh, this is this is solid this is a space i have to trim off here and delete that all right so that's what i would be seeing all right good so that's what I will be seeing. Good. All right. So the next thing that is left is the kitchen. So for the kitchen, we have the cabinets. All right. So let us put in the cabinets. All right. So let's see the distance from the wall. I think it's seven hundred. From the wall yeah that is 700 all right so let's get our cabinets we go to add center and uh, we need the cabinets so let's go to kitchen blocks so here we're going to take out the faucet let me take out this faucet let me see yeah and let me take out this cabinet 
and also this cabinet all right so the cabinet height is already set the cabinet height is already as it should be so we don't have to change the height or anything let me just move all of these down closer to the drawing So now let me put this in place. Alright, so this cabinet would go here. Oh first let me measure to see if what it is because it needs to be seven hundred. Um six ten. So this is six ten and we need it to be seven hundred. So we need to make it bigger. Alright, so we're going to go to insert, sorry, calculator. Alright, so we need to make it bigger and it is 610 and we need to be 700. So we are going to divide 700 by 610. Equals this, so I like this, copy. And then uh, go to insert. And on the x axis, we are going to paste that number. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot to change it from the chair. So insert and ensure that you select cabinet, base cabinet. No, not front, base cabinet, um, side. Base cabinet, side, yeah. Alright, and paste that. And now we have the right thing, so let me just paste that there. Alright, so that's that cabinet in place. Alright. If you notice you have a sink here and a stove here but this sink here would be like where the countertop is because this is the oh that is the cabinet and we need to put on the countertop all right countertops can range from anywhere between 1.5 or 1 to 3 centimeters so we're going to make this so let's make this two centimeters so two centimeters so that's 20 Alright. Um so let me see. Oh you'd have the base cabinet then you'll have the you'd have the base cabinet then you will have the countertop. So what I should have done is to just bring this in from here. Sorry. Where where is it? Where is it? Here. So what I should have done was to just bring this in from here and then I would select a line for the countertop and then make the countertop 700 and then bring it up by 2 centimeters, which is 20 millimeters by 20 and then bring it back there so that's how it should be alright so we are going to put in this faucet and we're going to mirror it because we need to see it from the other side so modify mirror mirror it from here all right yes i want to erase source object so now i can modify this and move move it from here and bring it to here all right so it's right here let me see wait no not there from here to here there we go nice that's wonderful all right because as you can see the sink is there so you'll only be seeing the sink on the pipe all right there from the side view all right nice all right so now we need to do the other side of the cabinet which is this side over here and then we have the refrigerator right here all right nice so let's do this let us measure this distance from here to here is 2157 all right nice 2157 all right so just select a line and from here we bring this across by 2157 and then bring it down by 20 and then bring it 
Did we not bring it down by 20? Or bring it down by... Let me just do this over. So 2157. 2157. Then bring it down by 20. And then bring it back across to there. Alright. Nice. So. From there now, we are going to put in these cabinets. All right, so let me just copy this. And let me copy it from here. And we're going to paste that there, bring it down to, hmm, not there. We're going to paste it here. Uh, let me just paste it there, then I move it down. To there. Nice. So now let me just copy this. From here. And bring it across to here. And then to here. nice that is wonderful all right so now we have that so what else do we need let me see the refrigerator all right so we're going to go to add center we're still in kitchen so now we can look for the refrigerator front view. So this is the refrigerator here. All right. And uh, the front view of the refrigerator, let's see the size. So this size is 914. Let's see if this is 914 also. It is, so we don't have to scale anything, nice. So let me just move this from here and move it across to, oh, I didn't, I didn't, oh, it's right beside here. All right, so if I know, let me just move it here for a little bit. Let me get a line to work with so I know where it should be. So it should be here. Alright, so now I can move it up there. Alright. So now let me move it. From here. And bring it up to here. Yeah. Bring it up to there. Nope, wrong place. Here. Yep, there we go. Alright, now we can trim this. TR, enter, enter. We would be seen down here, but wouldn't be, be seen this. Oh, we have to explode it first. So explode, and then we trim. Alright, so it wouldn't be seen there because the legs of the tree will be blocking it. We wouldn't be seeing this part either because it should be blocking that part. And yeah, that's about it. Mm -hmm. So there it is. All right, nice. So, what is next? All right, so I think that is it for furniture and so on and so forth. Yeah. All the furniture is in. That's in. That's in. That's in. That's in. The door is in. Window, refrigerator, walls. All right, nice. So now let's look towards the roof. So when we cut through the roof, we'll be seeing the rafters. All right. So let me select a line. All right, and first, let me change this to a white layer. All right, nice. So from here, 
let me offset this line no don't actually let me copy this line from this point and bring it to this point <coughs> all right nice so now let me get a line from here and bring it down good and now let me just mirror this mirror it from here like this nice no not the your source object all right good all right good so now we're going to have to do some trimming because what we're doing is is this right here all right so this here is what we're doing this all right so we cut through the building and we're going to be seeing the rafters in the roof and this right here is going to look like this all right so let us deal with that right now so this part of the wall goes all the way up into the roof all right so this would be extended up into the roof and then we trim out this part so we trim this and we trim this and also we trim this oh we shouldn't have trimmed that uh we should not trim that we should trim this part all right and then the rest of it is that goes to there so we should have trimmed this right there all right good that's like that all right nice all right and then up here i'll set this by 25 so i'll set enter two five enter bring that down and bring that down all right nice good so then we'll do the same thing over this side as well so we have to trim out oh, we have to trim this sorry trim so we have to trim this and we have to trim this oh we should not trim this we should have actually extend extended this turn off or to and then just extend it forward to here and then trim I have to delete this actually delete um so this goes up into the wall up to here turn on back or to it goes up into here then it goes across by 150 then it comes back down to there sorry all right something is not right about this so let me just extend this up to here and bring this across then trim this and this as well all right and this here right here we copied it from the because we copied this from the elevation and the elevation the front elevation you see the fascia board but since this is a cut through the building you wouldn't be seeing the fascia board all right so instead of having this right here what we would have is this we would have this which represents the wall plate so we'll offset this by 50. all right good all right so once you have done that now we can trim this line all right since you can't trim it let me delete it then and delete this and this all right so then i will draw about this line here this one right here 
to here. And the same thing on the other side as well. Nice. Alright, so then now we're going to put in our rafters. So we're going to offset this by 25 in both directions. So offset 25. Do this. Good. And from here, we could use the array command to array this and make the space between it um, 600 and all of that. But instead, we're just going to do it uh, manually. Because it's not a lot of rafters. Alright, so the rafter is 600. Sorry, the rafter is 50 and the space between it is 600. So I'm going to offset by... 650. I'm just trim out these first. Good. So offset by 650. Alright. And just do this. So we're bringing this all the way across. I think this would be the last one. Yeah, because I don't want to fall outside. Alright, good. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. So just offset by 650. Almost done on setting these. As I said, you could have used the array command. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so now let me extend this down to this board here. And I'm going to trim it. Uh, let me do the same for this one over here. Alright, so let me just trim out these. And here. Alright. Trim out all of these. Sorry. Alright. So let me trim this. And I'm just going to trim out all of them. Going to trim out all of them. Alright. So. It is. It is a lot of them. Alright. So once we finish doing the roof now. Then we can go to the walls. Or we put it into the walls. And also we're going to put it into the foundations. Then we can label it and then we're pretty much done. Alright. I should have done a half. I should have just done a half like that and then mirror it. Instead of having to do that and then now trim out all of them on the other side as well. So we're almost done trimming all these. Just 
Ja, Stuhl. Schön mit hier als well. Alright, nice. So. No, we can just delete these. Sorry. Let's see if anything is left. Oh, shoot. Oh, we have to. Let me see. Oh, yeah. We didn't trim out. We should have trimmed out this side and deleted the rest. We should have trimmed out this. So we'd have to trim out here as also. Let me see. I'm just double check that. Yeah. So <laughs> we'd have to trim out this as well. All of these. Well, at least these will be easier to trim because they are. Oh, I mean, we can't trim them, we have to delete them. But it'd be easier to delete. No, oh, that one would remain. Let me see. Oh, so this would come down here. So this would be down here. So it would be like that. So that means that we have to trim out this. So these are a lot easier to trim out because they are a lot bigger. This is a lot easier. Alright, so let me just extend this down to here. Then let me trim it. And then delete that. Nice. Alright, so let's see what else we do. Alright, so that goes up to there, that goes up into the wall, and it is black. Alright, so this goes right into the wall. Alright, so here, let's draw a line 50. Sorry. This line is from here across here is 50. And then it comes down to here. Alright, let me just trim this out. Alright, so I'm trim this. So the board actually goes into the wall and rests on the wall like that. Alright, so same thing over here. Bring this across by 50. Bring it down. Sorry. I'm just in, and then um, can extend this. And just save this. Now let me trim that like that. That stays like that and yeah. Goes across. 
Alright, alright, good. Alright, so then. On the drawing here, it says that from here to down here is 700. Alright? So this is 700, from here to here is 300, and this is 200, and this is 200. Alright, so let's do that then. So, here now. So select a line. Bring this down by 700. 700. So a line from here. Bring it down by 700. Then bring it across to here. Alright. Nice. Let me just consult this. No, it goes from the, the 700 is from the top of the window. Okay. So from the top of the window up is 700. Okay. Alright, so it's like that. Okay. Alright. So then now from here to here. Okay, so the 700 is from all the way up. So let me just check. Yeah, the 700 is from all the way up so let me just do this over all right so from here bring this down 700 all right then bring this across to there nice all right so now we're going to offset this by 200 and then 200 again And then let me just check this. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, no, no, no. The reason why they have that there is because they cut through a window. So, right here shows the cut through the window. So, since we don't, we are not cutting through a window, we do not need to do that. Alright. So, what we would do is just bring that down by 300. So, we'd have this. That distance is 300. So, we'd have that. Alright, let me delete this. Alright, so 300. So let me bring this wall up to here because it's just nowhere right now. And this wall as well. Alright, good. So what I would have here is here I would bring this down by 300. And then bring this across here. Alright, should be the same on the other side. So, 300. And then bring that across. Alright, nice. There we are. Alright, so here now, we are going to have our we are going to have our walls and we are going to actual walls with 45 degree lines all right so the walls are here so hatch type hatch and uh, let me wait. pattern let me change the pattern to this one right here Alright, and we're going to add this here, and also this wall here. Alright, let me change the scale so we can actually see it. Sorry, not there. Here. Change the scale from 1, let me see how 100 looks. Uh, 100, 100 is fine. And then uh, down here, the foundation footing, we hatch that with concrete. And we hatch up here with concrete as well. So let's go back to hatch. But before that, let me just hatch pattern. Select solid first and hatch here solid. 
and here as well. Alright, and then I'm going to hatch down at the base. The foundation put it in concrete. So here and here. Alright, nice. And we can hatch between ground level and floor level with sand. Alright, so hatch. And we go to pattern. And we look for AR sand here. And we hatch here with sand. Nice. Alright. Let me just get rid of these so we can actually see what we have done. Alright. Um so we have all of that, we have everything. We have everything, everything is hatched, furniture is in place, roof is nice. Alright, good. So then we would oh we would circle. So we'd go to draw select a circle. Circle here. And we're going to write CE detail. This circle is a bit too big. Uh there. Oh. So let me just select another circle. From here. Yeah, that's nice. And the circle again. And the circle here. Let me see a weird circle here. See foot in detail. Okay. So let me circle here. Let me circle right over here. Nice. And then uh, we're going to label this CE detail and label this C foot in detail. Alright. So let me get a text and I'm going to write my text right there. CE detail. You would have a different color for the text or oh, all caps. CE details. Alright, it's very small, so let's scale it. Click on it and select scale. Click on a point on it and we can scale it up by about let's see how 25 looks. Yeah, 25 is good and then I can move it over to here. Let me turn off Arthur for a minute. And I can copy it. Sorry. From here and bring it down here. Alright. Then I can select a leader to annotation and select a leader. So it's select specify arrow hit location is there. It was there. So I have a arrow. Alright, let me escape. So let me just move this down. So about here. Alright, and um, can select the next leader for this from here to there. Can bring this up. Sorry. Alright, so let me just move this. Good. Alright, so we circle that to label that. Alright, good. So then we'll label the drawing and we're going to label it like this. We're going to call it section A. So go to tool palettes and go to annotation again. And this time we're going to select drawing title metric. Bring it over here. You have to scale this because it's very small. So just click on it, select scale, select a point, scale it by about 100. 
triangle and just double click on it where it says view title you change it to section AA all caps are section AA and the scale is 1 to 50 this is how you go about labeling your drawings and the draw name and the draw number oh okay all right all right okay all right so like that and uh, that is how you go about doing your sectioning thanks for watching i know it was a very long video but i hope you enjoyed the video